everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Kay back at it with another Cooking with Kay. Today I got a fun breakfast for you. This one is going to be scrambled eggs with grits, slice of toast, slice of bacon, glass of orange juice, and some vegetable fruit on the side. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is put in a cup of water. And I generally put my water in uh, cold because this way, or you can do it warm. But remember, whenever you're doing instant grits, if the water is real hot, it's going to cook really fast. So I generally like for my grits to kind of slow cook, even though I'm in a hurry. But I like to slow cook them because the slower you cook them, the creamier they'll be. And, you know, I put three quarters of a cup of water into my grits uh, because, you know, I want to kind of speed up the process with this video. But let's say if I had time, you know, I would just put a cup of water per packet of grits this way. Uh, it's just for one serving. But again, I use the quicker uh, quick grits because it cooks really fast. And the more water you add to it, the creamier it is. Now, as you can see, the grits are doing really good right now. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of turn it up just a little, just let it cook a little quicker. And if it's more than, if it's you and someone else, then it would be two packets of instant grits with two three quarter cups of water. Now you would just increase that combination depending on how many people. And um, generally what I like to do, even though this one comes in a, um, a butter in the packet, I generally like to use a little European style butter. You know, I mean, the, the taste is just unbelievable. So, you know, I'll use some uh, creamy butter to add to the flavor like that. As you can see, it's already really starting to come together already. See that? Just like that. Look at that. Look how creamy that is. So this is a quick meal, but it's a delicious meal. So I'm going to be back in one, two, three. Okay, I'm back. So let's take a look at the grits. As you can see, the grits are done. And then, you know, it only takes about, you know, five minutes just, or, you know, no more than like five, 10 minutes. And the higher the, that you have the, the stove, the, the quicker it, it cooks. Now, all we have to do now is add the eggs. And you know, eggs cook really fast. So you know, uh, if I didn't, if I went uh, holding the camera, you know, I I probably would not have the eggs on the stove. You know, I can cook them without it being on the stove. But you know, this is this is television, so you know, uh, you have to do it how you do it. So then, all you do, let me see if I can kind of get this better. It's kind of harder without my camera lady, Sandy, you know, but um, you take, you know, you take your grits and, you know, you stir them up good, just like that. And like I say, the, the longer you, you cook them, uh, the, the thicker they'll be. So if you like a, a watery type grits, then, you know, don't let it cook down that long. But if you like a, a thicker grits, like what, you know, I generally eat, I like a thicker grits, um, then you would, what you would do is you would, um, you let it cook longer. 
But this is a fun meal. I mean, it's it's the it's a good hearty breakfast. And the good part is it doesn't take that long to make. And you know, everybody's busy, everybody got a million and one things to do. So you don't really have a lot of time. So then you um, do that. And if you want to put a little pepper, you can add a little pepper. I got the ground type pepper as well, but by me uh, holding down the, the fort, cooking and using the camera, add a little sea salt, and uh, you can take a little uh, Santa Cruz jam. I generally uh, keep the expiration date, you know, so I can keep track of my foods. Uh, it's some craziness that I do. And then, you know, you got your your orange juice, you have your, your fruit, and then you have your grits, your scrambled eggs, your bacon, your toast. I would say you're ready to go. So that's all I have for you. Again, this is K. Back at it with another K. Breakfast and cooking with K. I appreciate y'all time. Have a wonderful day. And like I say, try this out for yourself. Take care, guys.